Hello everyone and welcome to Intuitive Art Mediums. Thank you for joining me for this big love and healing pick a card tarot reading. Now the reason why I'm suddenly doing this reading is because last night I noticed on the horizon looking in the west that Jupiter and Venus were very close to each other. So I consulted with my daily planetary guide and for sure enough, right here, we have Venus conjuncting Jupiter in Aries at 9.36 p.m. Pacific time. So that's the West Coast on the United States. And then today we have Venus still conjuncting Jupiter at 12.36 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. That's when the conjunction began on the East Coast. And then tomorrow we have Venus conjuncting Chiron in Aries at 12.48 p.m. Eastern Standard Time and 9.48 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. So I felt like that this deserved a reading about big love and healing. Now, Chiron is the wounded warrior. He is about healing the self. And so, and of course, Jupiter expands any of that energy that is nearby that. So this energy is still happening this evening. Tomorrow, Venus will conjunct with Chiron at the times that I just showed you. So let's get into the reading. This is pile one with the tiger's eye heart. This is pile two with the opalite heart. And this is pile three with the rose quartz heart. Now you might be drawn to more than one pile, that's perfectly all right. That is your intuition letting you know that there's a message in that pile for you as well. Now keep in mind, these are general tarot readings, so please only go with the messages that resonate with you and leave the rest because that message is probably for someone else. I will begin with pile one. There'll be timestamps down below for the other readings and I'll meet you at your reading. Hello, Pile One. If you chose the Tiger's Eye Heart, welcome to your reading. We have five tarot cards here, which we'll begin with, and then we'll draw some oracle cards. So let's begin. We have the Page of Cups. This is New Romance or somebody that is uh, telling you words of romance, being romantic with you, wanting to take you out. Uh, this is the beginning of dating someone that you really like. Next, we have the fool. Okay, there's a confirmation to the beginning of a possible new romance for you. Next, we have the Ace of Cups. Okay, now this cup is about love, but it's also about healing. And next, we have the Queen of Pentacles. She is a businesswoman, but she cares about her community. She can be charitable, but she always has enough for herself, but she is very much involved with her community. And then we have the Four of Wands. The Four of Wands is a stable home. So this could be a new home that you're looking into, but this is also the Happy Harvest Home where everyone is welcome, it's joyful, it's a celebration. And look there, we have a pregnant mother expecting. So this could be a 
confirmation for some of you who are expecting or want to be and soon will be. Okay, now let's get into the True Love Oracle cards. And we have for you sexual freedom, which is communicating with one another in a deep, meaningful way that is beyond words. This is showing deep affection for each other and expressing that in a very uh, deep and loving way. And this could be a something new. Now, for some of you, this could be a friend who is now becoming a romantic partner. This could also be a new romantic adventure for you. And then next, we have the gardener with number 16. This was number 30 for those of you who want to know about the numbers. Now, the gardener is about taking care of the seeds that he has sown with love and care. And it's pretty obvious that a seed has been sown in this woman's womb and she is now an expectant mother. The Queen of Pentacles denotes taking care of the garden with love and care. And there is, even though this could be a new love, there is a great deal of love and affection that's very deep. For some of you, this could be somebody that is like a soulmate. And look on the bottom of the deck, we have number four with a commitment. So yes, this person is committed to you or vice versa. This could be uh, you who are the one romancing someone, but it's someone that you deeply care about and love and uh, you are committed to them. This is new and beautiful. It's healing for both of you. Now, remember I said that uh, on March 3rd, Venus is going to conjunct uh, Chiron in Aries. And this is about healing yourself. And that is... The name of this oracle deck that I am going to draw a card from for you. Heal yourself. And here we have Discover Your Life Purpose with number 29. And look how this man is romancing the woman with music. This reminds me very much of this page of Pentacle or Page of Cups, as well as the Fool. That is beautiful for those of you who chose this reading. This is lovely. Okay, let's get you some confirmation cards. This is from the Eternal Light. And we have released the past for now, for new possibilities to emerge. Bless the past and give thanks for it and let it go. Hanging on to heartache causes blockages. Infinitely creative energy and bountiful blessings are waiting to flow through to you. Each moment of the day brings fresh potential. Every virtuous thought helps create a brighter future that is really beautiful with by releasing the past and that's that fool taking that leap of faith taking that chance on love again and look what is waiting for you a beautiful future of fulfillment of finding your life purpose perhaps for some of you your life purpose 
is creating that happy family in the garden. And you, this is beautiful relationship card. Then we have a spiritual reality to cope with separation from a loved one. Remember that we are all connected. Neither time nor space can separate that which is united in love. The entire universe with all of its spaces and dimensions, hidden and seen, is inside you. And you are everywhere. What a beautiful card to go with the gardener as well as the sexual freedom. Because this is an expression of love that is beyond words. <clears throat> And now let's draw you just one card because I love myself because this energy is also about healing yourself and love can heal all. It may not bring back that ex-boyfriend, but you got to release that past. If somebody doesn't love you, you can't make them love you. So this is about letting that go and allowing new love to flow through you because it's going to be so much more beautiful. And we have the, com the power of compliments. I compliment myself every day. I always make time to notice and appreciate the good things in my life that is beautiful with this ace of cups here the power of compliments you have a cup full of compliments and this page of cups is probably also bringing you many compliments as well because they are courting you they are romancing you they love you they're in love with you they want to have a future with you and now let's draw your last card, pile one, from the Lover's Oracle. Okay, yeah, that card wants to be your card. Okay, here is your artwork. And give thanks for the blessings of love soon to come your way. Know that you deserve to be and have all that your heart truly desires. That is really nice because you are discovering your life purpose. That is part of how you're going to be healing yourself. You have this power of compliments, complimenting yourself and also complimenting those that you feel need a compliment. I mean, if you truly, sincerely want to compliment a stranger, you should. Because who doesn't love a compliment? And this is going to help you release this past from past heartaches. This is a new love that's totally different. This is someone who is committed to you. You're committed to each other. And you have this spiritual reality that is bringing this financial stability with the Queen of Pentacles that's going to give you security for the family that is coming to you. Now, with the Four of Wands here, this could be also an extension of your family because we have the gardener, we have all these lovely flowers. It could be that someone's bringing children in from a previous relationship, but they're ready to have their children meet you, which is in another way, a new beginning, a new step towards that committed relationship. So I'm going to end your reading here, Pile 1. I hope that you enjoyed this reading. Let me know what you think in the comments if you want. 
Even if you didn't like it, let me know why you didn't. Um, and until next time, thank you for liking and subscribing to my channel. I appreciate each and every one of you. And until next time, take care, my friends. Hello, Pile 2. If you chose the Opalate Heart, welcome to your reading. So we have five tarot cards already here for you. So let's get into the reading. We begin with the Knight of Pentacles. This is a patient person waiting. Now all the Knights are instigators of change. And here we have a Knight crossing over the road. So you are crossing the street. You are crossing over something. Uh, Next, we have the Nine of Wands. Now, the Nine of Wands uh, is about protecting yourself. Perhaps you are moving somewhere. You're looking for another place to move to where you feel more safe. Then we have the King of Cups. Now, the King of Cups is a very easy laid back, kind of person uh, he's ruled by cancer or the other water signs but predominantly cancer and this is cancer rules the fourth house of the home so this is a king who wants to feel at ease at home and even when the world around him is chaotic that could be why home is where he feels safe at and it could be that he travels someplace because the pentacles do represent financial stability. But the knight of pentacles, all the knights are instigators of change. This could be a job change where you may have gotten a promotion and you are being relocated. Next, we have the three of swords. Well, the three of swords can be about betrayal uh, pain from the past, hard lessons that we learned from others who were not honest with you. That could also be the cause for this move. And then we have the magician. Okay, the magician is about manifesting that which you desire. What is it that you desire? And for some of you, you might be moving to a place that feels safer to you. Now let's draw some true love cards from the True Love Oracle deck. And for you, we have the Gardener. Okay, this is taking care of where you live, taking care, you know, nurturing all the seeds that you have sown. Now, this certainly can be job related, and it's important to be able to love what you do. And next we have spiritual maturity. This is really lovely, too, because with the spiritual maturity, I love how we have this mountain and it's beneath the magician. Because with spiritual maturity means your power has grown and you can tap into this energy with the all-seeing eye right there. Um, this is your higher knowing, your higher self. And for some of you, you may have found a special someone to journey with you on this spiritual maturity. Now, the magician, the mature magician, has accumulated a great deal of power and knowledge about the natural elements, which the gardener, in many ways, is also a master of those elements. Think of all that goes into gardening. There's water, there's earth, there's air. And there's fire from the warmth of the sun 
to germinate and bring about the changes in the seeds. So for some of you, I get the feeling that you're moving someplace that feels safer to you and uh, more calm. And I feel like that you're just moving out of this area that has just, you know, one after another bad things have happened to you there. And you've been putting it out there to the universe that you want to move somewhere. You've just had to wait patiently for that to happen. Some of you may still be looking. Some of you may be waiting for that opportunity still. So let's take a look at the Heal Yourself Oracle because we do have that Venus conjuncting Chiron on March 3rd. And for you, we look at this, a soulmate with number 14. This is lovely because for some of you, where you move to, that's where you're going to find your soulmate. And for some of you, others, you're going to bring your soulmate with you to this new higher place that is better for both of you. Okay, let's let's get you a love spell here. Okay, and we have conjuring pleasure. Bring this up closer to the camera. So if you want, you can pause and write down what you need for this spell. Make a vow to bring forth all your sensual power. You will radiate passion and be intensely drawn to your lover. Perform this ritual at the next full moon. Collect essential oils, candles, and a drink of your choice. Begin with a blissful bath of oil-scented water. Sit in a darkened room. Raise a cup of jasmine tea, a glass of wine, or whatever your special drink is, and speak the spell aloud. Now I awaken the goddess in me. I surrender to the love's power. Tonight I will heat the night with my fire as I drink this cup my juices flower. I am alive. I am love. And so it is. Wow, I think that goes very nicely with this gardener soulmate energy here because you can certainly grow jasmine in your garden and collect those flowers. And you can have the flowers uh, in your bath. You can Put the flowers around your bath, uh, in your hair. You can make a head wreath with blooming jasmines. And then next we have Elixir of Love. And again, I will bring it close enough so that you can pause the video and write the spell down if you'd like. Elixirs are very simple potions made by placing a crystal or gemstone in a glass of water for at least seven hours. Remove the stone and drink the crystallized water. The water will now carry the vibrational energy of the stone, the very essence of the crystal. Place into a glass of water, carnelian, garnet, rough ruby, red coral, red jade, jasper, red sardonyx, culperite, adventuring, red calcite. Mix and match, and remember, if you only have access to a rough ruby and a tiny chunk of jasper, so be it. That is all still a lot of love in a jar. Okay, now I'm glad that they mentioned the stones that they did, because there are some stones that are poisonous if you put them in water. These stones are not. So um, 
their safe stones go with that selection. If you go out of that selection, please research that stone that you're going to put in your water. Now for a way to not put a specific stone in your water, if you don't wanna put any stones in, what you can do is take those stones and circle the glass of water so that that energy will imbue the water inside the glass and meditate with those crystals and that glass of water. You can most certainly do this holding the stones in your hand along with that glass of water. Okay, and let's get you an eternal love card here. Okay, oh, these two wanted to jump out. Spirit has spoken. Leap of faith. Here we have, be guided by your instincts. Be brave and leap with faith and belief in yourself. You have much to offer. These are the messages that the universe wants you to hear today. Repeat this mantra. I trust my intuition. I have faith in the universe. There is infinite potential in each moment. And I really feel like that that goes over here with the Knight of Pentacles because he's stepping over this crossroads and wanting to feel safe. I also feel it goes well with this King of Cups too because he is in a meditative state. Actually, let me bring him over here because I do feel like it goes here. Uh, he's in this state of meditation, and this is a great time to add those uh, mantras. Here we have a new perspective. Though you may not see it, you are a jewel. What you consider to be imperfect is your illusion. You shine eternally, even in darkness. Focus on your inner light to discover truth and wisdom that are unique to you. Your awareness is expanding and dimensions and spiritual pathways open. And now I do feel like this goes with the Knight of Pentacles because you are getting a new perspective with this Knight who is crossing over the highway. And, you know, here, even when darkness, when you feel like you're in darkness, you still shine. And sometimes with the Nine of Wands, we are protecting ourselves and sometimes we hide in the shadows to protect ourselves and then spirit gave you a third card dwelling on the past or future keeps us from experiencing the infinite creative power of now when you make conscious choice be sure oh be when you make a conscious choice to be fully present in each moment you will open yourself up to the endless possibilities of the universe and magic works its way into your life. And how beautiful is that with the magician? Be present. If you are in heartache pain, be present with that pain so that you can heal that pain. Now let's draw you a card from the Lover's Oracle. Oh, look at this. How beautiful. Looks a lot like the back of this card, a heart with wings. Okay, let's see what it says. When you pass from this world, you take nothing with you but your soul and the memories you have shared with those you love. I think that speaks to that spiritual maturity. And here you are going up this mountain with your soulmate. You are on this journey and you are continuing the journey for some of you. If they were your past soulmate in another lifetime and you've come together again in love that you share, you're also sharing those soul memories. 
Okay, Pile 2, I'm going to end your reading here. I hope that you found it helpful. I hope you at least enjoyed it and had fun with it. Uh, thank you so much for liking and subscribing to my channel. I appreciate each and every one of you. And until next time, take care, my friends. Hello, Group 3. If you chose the Rose Quartz Heart, Welcome to your reading. Okay, so we have five tarot cards right here. So let's reveal them before we get into your oracle cards. Okay, we begin with the Queen of Wands. This is a beautiful start. The Queen of Wands uh, represents the sign of Leo, which rules over the heart, is ruled by the sun. A very big hearted lion heart and this is bringing you someone who's very uh, passionate creative then we have the moon oh with a thoth I like this actually I just began reading the emerald tablets again and it's just so wonderful and this card makes me think of this with uh, Thoth right here. Uh, ancient wisdom with the moon. There is some magic and mystery with this Queen of Wands energy. Next we have the Page of Swords. Someone's been watching you. They could be watching you from afar um, because they're too shy to approach you. And because I think Leo is big and bold and brave and strong, I think when Leo notices this, the Leo will approach the Page of Swords and strike up a conversation. Here we have the Knight of Cups. A romance opens up. The Knight of Cups is the knight in shining armor who brings you his cup of love. And the knights are instigators of change. So this is someone who is definitely romantically interested. Here we have the Page of Pentacles. Now, this could be somebody that you're meeting at school or college or uh, somewhere where you're getting together as a group and learning something because the Page of Pentacles is about higher learning also um, learning a trade, a skill that they can use out into the world where they can support themselves. But there is something magical and mysterious and profound about this relationship. So let's go into the True Love Oracle cards. Here we have a chivalry. Okay, this is beautiful. This is the epitome of the Knight of Cups over here. He's very chivalrous, very romantic, uh, and just knows how to do, how to set a scene, how to pleasantly surprise you in a fun, loving, romantic way. That's also deep and meaningful. Next, we have the Divine Feminine. Okay, this card reminds me of the Empress. Here we have a Divine Feminine who is abundant. She has abundant love to share. Abundant creativity as well because the Divine Feminine, she is able to create everything that she could possibly need. And she can most certainly attract any lover she desires. That could be what's so intimidating with this Page of Swords. And with the Moon card, it could be that you meet them on a moonlit night. I do not see any kind of negativity here. 
Uh, the Page of Swords can be somebody who kind of spies on you. So that can kind of be uh, a creepy card. But with these other cards, uh, this is someone who has, uh, they could be a secret admirer. But you're going to notice them, whoever the Queen of Wands is, because Queen of Wands is divine feminine energy. And uh, she is about creativity. She rules the fifth house of creativity. Let's draw you a Heal Yourself card, because we do have Venus conjuncting Chiron in Aries. And it is about healing yourself. And we have Discover Your Life Purpose with number 29. Now, this card came up in the first reading for uh, Discover Your Life Purpose. Now, this may certainly be you just following your passion. This is a subject matter that you love that you're going to learn more about. And this could also create a career and I just heard matchmaker are you going to be a matchmaker are you learning how to be a matchmaker uh, creating a new system that brings people together where they can meet and things can happen organically okay. let's get you a love spell card And of course, you know, we do have, in many ways, this reminds me of a page. And we have the Page of Swords. And here he's romancing someone that he loves. But notice that he's not really looking at her, but he's drawing her, calling to her through his music. His music is enchanting. He could be somebody that plays in a band. So let's get you a love spell. Okay, and for you, we have the breakup ritual. To rid yourself of negative emotions after a fight or the end of a relationship, try this purification bath. Draw a warm hot bath or a warm bath at noon when the sun is at its healing peak and add these essential oils to the water as it flows through the faucet. Bring this up closer so you can write down the recipe here. Uh, two drops of rosemary for calm, one drop peppermint for stimulation, one drop lavender for energy cleansing, and three drops time to relieve mental exhaustion. As you soak and steam, repeat this prayer four times. Sadness, I release you. Goodbye. Fatigue, I release you. Goodbye. I greet this day anew. I greet my life renewed. Blessed be. Okay, now this definitely feels like the Divine Feminine here. And I get the feeling that some of you might be on guard from a past relationship that devastated you. We have this moon card, hidden mysteries, hidden things. Uh, and with this page of swords, it could be somebody that would sneak off in the night and be with someone else and you found out about it and now you're ready to clear that energy out of your life and you don't want to attract another person like that in your life especially if they were this sweet romantic person that prince charming that was too good to be true uh you're going to be testing them because we have the Knight of Cups and we have this Page of Pentacles. OK, 
Okay, next we have the Sylvan Spell. Okay, this is a lovely spell if you are given a small tree as a gift to wish for strength and good health for you and your love. Before you plant the sapling, tie a bow in some colored ribbon and plant the bow with a small heart symbol in the soil under the roots of the tree. After you have planted the tree, water it well, make a wish that both you and your love will grow strong and enduring as the past, oh, as the tree takes root and begins to flourish. When the tree bears its fruit or the first leaves, press it in a book associated with the one you love. As long as you tend your tree with love, you will both enjoy blooming health and vitality. So I suppose that if you invite this person to do this spell with you, you'll find out if they're sincere or not because they're, they will be spellbound to you. And uh, let's get you another card here because I love myself. Okay, Spirit wants you to have these. Abundant value. I have so much to offer and I value all I can give. I make sure I share myself with those who appreciate my contribution and reciprocate with gratitude and respect. Well, that is going to be a must for you in order for them to prove to you that they're sincere about what they're doing. Because with this Page of Swords, which is ruled by Gemini, it's a double-edged sword. This could be somebody who um, speaks very highly of you, is interested in you. But this could also be somebody who looks at you from afar, too afraid to approach you. And then here we have, I am worthy of love. I accept my own self-love. I accept the love of others. I ensure my own needs are met. And when I do this, I can love others even more. So when you have reached that point, especially with this breakup ritual where you have cleansed yourself, you release all that negative energy and you begin to feel the abundance of your own self-value of what you have to offer. You are this mysterious being with the Queen of Wands and the Moon card. This is very mysterious and magical in many ways. And then once you feel your abundant value, that's when you are going to know that you're worthy of love and you will receive the kind of love that you know you deserve, which is this man of chivalry. And this is going to help you discover your life purpose. Now, your life purpose could very well be having something to do with music. Perhaps you're writing a love song for your true love. And keep in mind, some of the best songs about love and breakups come out of that tumultuous energy of the breakup. So you can turn this hurtful emotional energy into a beautiful song and allow new love to flow into your life. Now let's get you a eternal light card. Okay, and we have the way ahead is clear. Now is a favorable time for doing what you love most. Life is opening up for you. New partnerships are forged and much progress is made as your heartfelt aspirations begin to manifest in your world. Now, this relationship could begin as, you know, your science partner, for example, or you have to get together in a group at school 
and you're partnered up with someone and you learn about them. They learn about you. And there's a connection there that you feel. Let's get you one last card from the Lover's Oracle deck. I always have difficulty in shuffling this deck because I have little hands compared to this deck. Okay, this card is the one that fell out. Here is your artwork. And it says, freedom. There is nothing stopping you. The path is clear if you want it to be. Okay, another confirmation. The way ahead is clear for you. You have freedom. There is nothing stopping you. This doesn't mean that just because somebody is telling you sweet words that you're going to fall head over heels with that person right away. They're going to have to earn that trust from you because you are in love with your freedom and if they're on the same path as you great you can share that path and there is a possibility that they are sharing that path with you but you like the queen of wands wants to maintain her feminine independence and the divine feminine she is abundant. She doesn't need anybody to take care of her. But that doesn't mean that you don't want love where you can combine your energies together and have a worthy love where both of you are appreciating each other. You appreciate the abundant value that each of you have to offer. You can make an excellent team. One person has... One person plays the music while the other person lovingly appreciates it or, you know, gives him some constructive criticism. Depends. Okay, pile three. I'm going to end your reading here. Now, each of these readings were a little bit different from the others. And so if you are drawn to any of those other readings, you might want to check those out. And until then, thank you so much for liking and subscribing to my channel. I appreciate each and every one of you for helping this channel to grow. And until next time, my friends, take care.